Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, this article was sent to me by Dan. Thank you very much. I love getting articles like this. And uh, Google is upselling us for more data. The headline you might have seen is basically plagiarized across uh, a dozen or so news sites is Gmail hooked us on free storage. Now Google is making us pay. So I pulled out a couple of these. Um, I think this one's kind of more short and concise. I really wanted to re read the tweets in this one. So we got to do this because we have a little bit of the situation of the, you know, what's going on in our crazy world. Of course, some people will say the millennials and Gen Zers are just kind of whiny. And the reality is some of them are that they're extremists. Um, not necessarily in a bad, well, okay, never mind. Maybe in a bad way. But they're extremists. They will either sit on one side of an extreme of very good in their life and one side of the extreme of very bad. So uh, you work with a lot of them. And uh, like I know, I know a guy that's, you know, he thinks that, that going to college is just a giant colossal waste. And so he's did the tech school route, paid everything up front for a six month certification where he'll get out of there and. Uh, probably have a very livable wage versus all the buddies that he graduated with who are all taking out hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars in student loans to go to college and four years later may or may not be able to find a job um, and then you get some of them are really hey I'm not gonna borrow money at all and you get a lot of these but then you get the opposite extreme and that guy is really good at, at he's just good at work he's good at good at all these things um, goes up to his job, even though he's not, I mean, doesn't love his current service industry job, but still goes there when he's there, he arrives on time. He'll come in if they need help. He works really hard, all these types of things. But then you get the opposite extreme. It's just like the entitled mentality to its nth degree. And that's actually what I see more of in this article, because reality is Google pulled a play out of whose book? Uh, the drug dealers <laughs> so say no to drugs uh and that's what this channel's always been about you know the 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 th first thing i saw in windows that seriously irked me is when they added one drive to try and get people to send all of your data to microsoft without the ability to remove that crap off of windows 8.1 it was really for me one of those early things that really started to push me over the edge and as I've talked on this channel several times, I've talked in the fact in the past about, you know, managing your email better. Even if you need to use Gmail, you should still be using Gmail in such a way that your emails are not staying on Google's servers outside of emails that have to be there. And there are ways to do this. Uh, and uh, I talk about I talk about these types of things in several different videos I have on the channel about managing your email better. And I had a video somewhere and I cannot for the life of me find it. And that's the problem with having two channels. And I think over almost 3000 videos between the two channels, uh, somewhere on there, I had a video on digital minimalizing and I can't seem to find that video. I even went through the minimalism and the simplifying lists in both channels. I could not find that video. So we're going to have a lot of remnants of this, uh, but it's uh, clearly stuff I haven't said at least for the last year or so. I don't think I'm really going to be repeating myself too much. But the fact of the matter is, one of the things that I have seen is this error, this problem we've had in society when smartphones started to take over. Now, of course, you guys know that my smartphone went down last week for a little bit. And um, with my smartphone going down, guys, it really didn't mess with my world at all because I'm not addicted to my phone. Why do I use a smartphone? Well, I like checking my email in the morning. I like being able to check it and respond to things on the fly. And I like sharing my mobile data. Other than that, um, oh, and I do, I do actually compile my news articles for the week on the phone as well. I do that while I'm having dinner. That's kind of my dinner thing. Is I'll cook my dinner, eat my dinner, and I'll go through all the news sites. And then I will take those news articles and I will put them into there, which I can actually do that on a, on a tablet as well. But the fact of the matter is... We, since the cell phones have become there, there are some people that use their phones appropriately, but then most people have just become so addicted to their phones, just completely addicted to their phones. And that's what this article is getting at. So Google first came out with their Gmail, and uh, I forget exactly when it was, 2006, I don't know, 2004, 2006, 2004 is when it launched, right here in the article. And when it first launched, they actually had a bigger data cap than anybody else. It was amazing. And then for a while, their data caps kept going up and up. 
Finally, they stopped raising the data cap <clears throat> because, you know, you can't just give infinite amounts of people in the world free access to unlimited data. It just, I mean, it's just not reasonable. <laughs> and so they put this together, but of course they have their drive where you can store your photos and all these things are tied into your account. So now your one group Google account for free is 15 gigabytes. Now there's been some discussion with the smartphones. They keep on going up and up and up and up in size. Like I can't remember how big my first smartphone was. It was probably eight gigabytes, but of course we had external cards. So I can have my camera taking pictures to the external cards. Nowadays where more and more phones do not have your external SD cards, we have to rely on internal memory. So now a small phone is considered the 64 gig. And what ends up happening is we have gotten so used to using our phone for everything and keeping everything perpetually on it. And what ended up happening is we've become addicted to this and we have lost our ever loving minds about how to manage our life. Because you remember the time when you had your digital camera? I mean, some of y'all remember the time when you had a film camera, but you have your digital camera and you'd go out, you'd have your vacation, go to your beach pictures and you'd come home and you'd plug your camera in your computer and you download the pictures and you look at them all go, oh, oh. Oh, that one needs deleted. Oh, ooh, I definitely deleted that one. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, look at this. Oh, that was so fun. Oh, that's such a good picture. And we had all of our photos on our computers. We, they, if we were doing backups, hopefully we were. Some people were. Some people weren't. You'd have a backup of these things. The card on your camera was cleared and ready for the next trip. Well, now with our smartphones, where we're just snap, 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 snap. But the problem, and that's not the problem. The problem is that we're never coming back and clearing the things off. So what's happening, and I want to get to the tweets in these articles. He says, this guy here says, <laughs> these are just hilarious tweets, <laughs> like entitlement to the nth degree, out of storage space and will soon be unable to send or receive emails until, they, until you free up space is displayed. Could you please define soon? My storage was full less than 24 hours. I'm afraid I have not received a very important email about an interview. Okay. Um, Whiny millennial. Um, I'm just going to make an assumption. My apologies. And if you're one of those good millennials, good Gen Zers that I was talking about earlier, this does not apply to you. If you are unaware, you can take this device and usually with the device, you are given a cable. With this cable, you can find the side that fits in the bottom of the device. Oh, uh, you got to plug it in right and go, oh. And then the other end of this cable actually plugs right into your computer, which I don't have a port open on the front of the computer. I do it. And then you can come in here and say, transfer files. And you can move files off of your phone and put them on your computer and clear them off of your phone and clear them off of your Google storage. Because Google shouldn't be having all of your personal photos anyway. You should be having a strategy for your photos that does not involve them being on somebody else's servers. So I'm sorry, take a little bit of time and clean out your Google account and start using your phone like an organized human being. Let's go ahead and get to the second guy. This guy apparently is stuck on the moon. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Stuck on the moon was the first guy. We just don't have good formatting. So, yes, he is stuck on the moon, apparently, because he didn't know you can plug the cable into the computer and transfer your photos. Um, Alpha Coo, whatever that is. I'm not going to be able to say that one. Hello, I am not able to receive new emails. Please check the issue. Tried all solutions. Given the help and feedback. Solution. Clear stuff off your Google account. Y'all have been using it as a dumping ground for everything you've wanted to do on the Internet and you have not taken the time to clear it off. Okay. Midas, he has the Midas touch apparently. One self-described tech enthusiast said he's opened multiple Gmail accounts to avoid bumping up on Google's storage limits. The way I abuse Google Drive, 15 gigabytes free cloud storage, I have seven email addresses. Why? You know, I talked about these videos that I had. So I, of course, prefer to run my email off of Google. 
I understand if you need to, you might have a job where they use Google services. You might be at a school. People, set your computer up with a POP3 system. Have your computer download a copy of those. And all of those emails, by the way, will store into a file and make sure that file is in your backups. You will never lose an email. And then on your device, you only keep the email here as long as it's relevant. Once the email is no longer relevant, you delete it off of your device. You delete it off of your device. That way you only have the most important things with you when you are mobile and your home base contains everything that you need. And then your server stays clear and you never run out of space. <clears throat> so what these guys are whining about is Google Chromebooks used to have, uh, when you got a Chromebook, you would get 100 gigabytes of space at no charge for two years. Back in May 2019, they cut that back to one year. Google Pixel phones originally launched with a free unlimited storage space. The latest Pixel 4 that just came out still has free photo storage, but the images are compressed, reducing the quality. 1,100 people signed an online petition to bring back the free full photo deal. Why? Get your own backup photo solution. Reality. How many of you guys actually, tell me in the comments, how many of you guys thought I was going to come out here and bash Google for this today? <laughs> I think this is a hilarious nothing burger. Okay. The organizer of the petition, no doubt one of these whiny millennials, not the good millennials. I already talked about guys. I've already prefaced this. If you've just jumped on, I spent the first five minutes defending that some millennials are amazing people. This guy, I'm going to bet, just a bet, the online petition organizer called Google's change a hypocritical and cash-grabbing move. Why? Guys, say no to drugs. The drugs is to utilize their platform to wall you into their garden and to keep you locked in the air, their ecosystem. It's always been their plan. Since the start of these smartphones, we store the data. There's, they get in, probably not the day one, but early on, they're like, man, people are taking a lot of photos. They're really not taking stuff off like they used to clean off their cameras and stuff. Let's give them online solutions. But now, since people will never delete their old photos, they'll never delete their old emails, They'll never go through their phone and clean things up. They'll never keep things nice and tidy. Photo cameras keep getting better. We keep on selling. The cameras now have like 782 million megapixel cameras or something, which means one photo is taking about a quarter of a gig of space. And you're wondering why you're running out of space. And they got the solution for you. You need more space. Oh, you just need more space. You just need more space. This is why if you look at the generation of the iPhones, why they keep on their base models have more and more and more and more system memory as times go by. Because we're not cleaning stuff off. We're not living our life as we once did. We're not going back and saying, I don't need to keep all of this stuff on this one device. We have become so addicted to these smartphones and like all addictions, it throws our life into chaos. We're going out snapping photos and we're never taking them off, putting them into our main backup archive. We're relying on these guys' cloud-based storage programs. We're relying on them to make sure our phone never changes its appearance. And in so doing, we are giving the keys and the control of our life to other people. And I know this is going to come as a shocker, but they're companies. Google is not a philanthropic organization that seeks to give you unlimited storage space. This is why this channel exists to teach you how to not get tied into their ecosystem. Don't get tied into their ecosystem. Set your emails in such a way so that your own devices are your master controls. Set up your own devices so your own pictures are on your services, 
not on theirs. Sure, you want to keep a few things and share them among your friends on Facebook? Why would you want to? But if you would, <clears throat> that's okay. Delete the things off of your phone once you share it on Facebook. You want to send them up to your family to share them with your family through a joint Google account? That's fine. Every single photo you snap does not need to do that. So delete the ones that don't need to after, of course, they're backed up on your computer. Unless it really is a truly horrendously ugly photo, in which case, for sure, delete it. <clears throat> but I'm looking at this article, and, and the fact of the matter is Google has just pulled a card from the drug dealer's handbook. Get them addicted, get them coming back, and then charge them. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. That's why I've been teaching this stuff for a long time. To have your own solutions. <clears throat> so they're whining about $199 a month for up to 100 gigabytes of data. The 15, by the way, 15 gigabytes of free space is generous. I'll just tell you that. 15 gigabytes of free space is generous. Enough room for 5,000 photos, depending on the resolution. Costs $199 a month for 100 gigabytes and up from there. Yeah. Storage space costs money. If you don't want that option, I think you can actually get, let's see. And now it might be more. I don't know. No, I think it'd be, I think for 100 gigabytes, I think on an AWS S3 bucket, I think it would actually cost you only $1.50 a month. I think it's a little cheaper on an S3 bucket. If you really want to store all that stuff on Amazon, you could do that. Of course, a one terabyte hard drive costs you like a one-time fee of like 50 bucks these days. I don't even know if you can find those. I think it's going to be like two terabyte now for 60. Two terabytes is enough to back up all your computers a couple of times over. Buy two of those drives. Keep one of them in your house and put one of them in your friend's house. So if your house burns down, your friend has your data. Or, you know, I put them in a bank vault. Yeah, whatever. Don't rely on these services. And certainly, if you are relying on these services, don't whine. <laughs> Google wants to charge me now. They got me hooked on their services. Get off their services. You do not need to carry 15 gigabytes of photos there. Download them off your device, put them onto your computer, put them into backups, and delete them from your account. Voila! You won't be missing your important job interview. And if you're an employer and if Stuck on the Moon is applying to you and this kid can't figure out this simple solution, ask him a couple much harder interview questions. If he can get past those, maybe he can be a candidate. Wow. Company ended the Chromebook two-year 100 gigabyte offering around the same time while the Pixel photo storage ended in October with the release of Pixel 4. Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Photos have more than 1 billion users each as the company whittles away free storage offers and prompts more people to pay, that creates a potential huge revenue stream for the company. If 10% of Gmail users sign up for the new $1.99 a month Google One subscription, that would generate almost $2.4 billion a year annually. Yep. Get off your drugs. Get off your drugs and you will not need to contribute to Google Corporate Overlord's $2.4 billion of, of annual revenue. I'm not concerned about this. Not concerned. Because I don't have any stuff in Google Drive. Actually, I take that back. Um, when I did the, uh, I, I did a, um, I was teaching at a kid's science camp. And since we had some time off and I, you know, know a little bit about photography and videography, I actually volunteered to go around and take all the photos. So uh, just as the best solution, I was like, took all the photos that I had and I just threw them up into uh, a Google Drive on one of my business accounts. And it's like, here guys, have the photos because I don't use my Google Drive for anything. I said, I'll probably take those down eventually. Um, I don't know when. I mean, well, eventually I'll, sure, I'll take them down. Um, and they're, they're, by the way, they're encrypted up there. I actually put them in an encrypted file and I just distributed the pass key out to anybody who was at the camp. So if somebody gets in there and grabs them or something, uh, nobody can... Nobody can see the photos, um, which is good. But at the same time, say no to drugs, people. 
Say no to your smartphone doing everything. All right. I think we're going to come back. I'm going to do some more general tips on data minimalizing. So uh, since we only have a little bit of time here, I think that'd be a good separate video and I can't find the other one. So we'll pause this one for now. So thanks for coming along, guys. Let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments down below.